going to the specific science center. The general science center is a different day. There's the new glass floor in the restaurant of the Space Needle. Quite a few little legs. Riding the caterpillar, that's not going to be a particularly fast ride. So their understanding of dinosaurs has evolved, so to speak. Whoa, you're the same size as a dinosaur footprint. A T-Rex could just swallow you whole, just in case you wanted to know. You're stinky. Alex is too scared to see the dinosaurs. <laughs> Whereas Sophie went in there and she looks at him, she goes, Rawr! <laughs> <laughs> Alex, are you in your element? Where are you going? Well, there's a tiny dwarf planet going around too, which is Pluto. That's Pluto. How'd you know that? <laughs> Where it's spots much bigger than the biggest hurricanes on Earth. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Alex and Sophie. Alex and Sophie, where are we going today? To the science center. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, we're excited. going to the specific science center. The specific. Yeah. <laughs> the general science center is a different day. This one is all about applied science. Not any of that ivory tower theory here. Nerd alert, nerd alert. I'm so we're going to the Pacific Science Center. Why are we going to the science center, you guys? Because it's close to my birthday. Yeah, because it's both of your birthdays, huh? And we're celebrating with our family today, huh? This is kind of becoming a tradition because we did this last year. I mean, once a year is like a good amount of time to go to the science center anyway, because it's so expensive. Uh -huh. So, you know, we go to the zoo once a year, we go to the science center once a year, go to the aquarium <laughs> once a year. You know, and we're going to take the brand new enormous tunnel that they dug underneath downtown Seattle. It's kind of a big deal and they just opened it and they closed the, the Seattle viaduct which has been like a huge deal with traffic with the construction and it's just been like crazy. So um, yeah, now it's that tunnel is open and all the engineers in our life are very excited to go through the tunnel on the way, so. We yeah. wanna go through it once before yeah, they we'll start just, tolling yeah, it. Yeah, because they're gonna start tolling it. So we'll just go through it and back through it and then we'll go to the science center. Always new buildings every time we come down here. It's insane, they crop up like dandelions. Or mushrooms. Or mushrooms. So here's the bridge with the troll under it, Alex. Yeah, this is the Aurora Bridge. The troll's right it's under us right now. Stupidly narrow lanes. So narrow that the buses have to drive on two lanes. Yeah. Here we go, into the new tunnel. There's the Space Needle. Woo! Oh, here it is, <laughs> brand new tunnel. Stuck. Oh, I see the light of day. The light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. Now there's a big chunk missing. That's where they're tearing down the viaduct. Yep.
watching. Now we're at the other end of we're downtown. At the north Seattle. end of downtown. Coming up out of the parking garage here. They have some pretty stained glass. Yeah, that's the big special playground that you get to play on today, Sophie. That's the playground that we're going to just for you. Are you excited? Yeah? Let's go. There's your playground, Sophie. Wow, that's a big slide. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> yeah, we should probably go to the Science Center first. Okay, Sophie, let's go. And we'll stop here on the way out, okay? There's the new glass floor in the restaurant of the Space Needle. Kind of hard to see, but it's there. There's everyone. Hi, howdy, howdy. How are you? Good to see you. It's been a little while. It has. Yeah. 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 Did you like the tunnel too? Howdy. Yeah. Hi, mm, good to see you. Thank you. Yeah, the, the, the tunnel was big and long. Oh, it was. It was two miles long, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know what else it is? Oh, it's a big long expensive. It's on the bottom. Going. Oh, you have to take that card. You want to say thank you? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh. Parking garage. Candy, candy. Here, go call that. What? Oh, wow, look at that. What is oh, it? Okay. It's fishies. I bet Sophie will like that one too. You guys can put these in your piggy banks. Can you say thank you, Carol and Jim? Going down to follow daddy, but be careful. Don't fall in. Ooh, butterflies and dinosaurs. Look at that. Go. You guys see those dinosaurs right there? Yeah, those have been there since mommy was a kid. Alex, you're not excited at all to be here, are you? But I am! No! <laughs> 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 whale. Some orca whales. So you guys see that, that big blue thing right there? That's a bike that rides around that in that circle, and Mommy has ridden that a couple of times. See that bike right there. You ride it around that circle over the water. Riding the caterpillar. That's not going to be a particularly fast ride. You want me to ride with you? Okay. <laughs> Giddy 
up, giddy up caterpillar. Giddy up caterpillar. Giddy up caterpillar. Giddy up. Yeah. Now, how many likes does it actually have? I'm seeing maybe Not quite a thousand, but yeah. Quite a few little legs. It's a millipede, yeah. huh? So, not an insect. Insects only have six legs, but it is an arthropod, so it's related to them. It still counts as a bug. It's a bug, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you want to pet it? Do you want to pet it, Sophie? Yeah, you don't have to. It's okay. You don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> Marvin, you're scrambling. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Right. Before we go in there, we have to wait till everybody is in here. Yeah, because they want to make sure the butterflies don't escape. Ooh, look at all these butterflies. Yeah, they have eyes. Yeah, yeah they can. So. They have yeah, eyes. They're eyes. Oh, so tiny though. Yeah. Yeah, they have little uh, tiny eyes. What do you think about that? So tiny that you can't see them. Yeah, you can see their you eyes. You can probably see thing. their eyes if you look up Big close. Thing. the life cycle of a butterfly, that's right. And look at all these cocoons over here. Those are really big butterflies. What do you see? Lily pads, yep, sure enough. Can you climb up there? Yeah. <laughs> You're I under there, aren't you? Uncle Jim. <laughs> Can you say hi, Uncle Jim? <laughs> oh, it's your favorite place. <laughs> Are you so excited? <laughs> There's the globe. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. Alex, are you in your element?
What is this puzzle? The sun, that's right. A sun full of Jupiters and a Jupiter full of Earths. <laughs> that's pretty cool. 900 Jupiters can fit in the sun. 1400 Earths in Jupiter. Crazy. Crazy. Want to demonstrate how it works? Then it had an elliptical orbit. There you go, Alex. Going into the black hole. I keep getting the ellipses for whatever reason. What? I can't seem to get it going oh, no, circular. Okay. I keep getting the ellipses going. I'm, maybe it's just the way I'm tossing it. Meteorites. So this is a real meteorite. Del Cielo. It's like metal, is it iron? Yeah, a lot of meteorites are. It's very metallic, that's interesting. If you find one on the ground on Earth, there's a good chance it's gonna be an iron type because that's the kind that survives the fall through the atmosphere. Right, because it won't just totally burn up. Anything that's made out of ice definitely won't. Anything that's made out of rock might, but it's much more likely to explode. Yeah, I guess this. even if it gets red hot, it'll still make it through the atmosphere. Yep. You can see this one looks a little melty. Yeah. Like the outside of it was, and this is a small fragment of a bigger piece that did explode in the atmosphere. That's interesting. Even so. Into the space capsule they go. <laughs> yeah. Are you blasting off? You're blasting off. Ooh. You're taking off. I wonder if their seats vibrate. I don't They're know. Like at Disneyland. Right. Oh, Where are you going? To the moon. To the moon. Let's go see the dinosaurs. Why? Yeah. When you were here last year. Yeah. This is definitely the time to come. We're gonna go see the dinosaurs, Bill. There's the dinosaurs. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Are you roaring at them? <laughs> you roaring at those big dinosaurs? Those are pretty cool, huh? There's the long neck. These dinosaurs have been here since I was a kid. Oh, is that right? He has something to say. Insected oh. ember. Just in case you wanted to know. Dinosaur farts. An apatosaurus was probably stinky. The apatosaurus and other sauropods produced about two or 520 million tons of methane per year. You're stinky. Yeah, that is a dinosaur footprint, a real footprint. Isn't that big? Do you fit inside the dinosaur footprint? Whoa, you're the same size as a dinosaur footprint. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, that one's a, how do you pronounce that? Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. What you said. She's not afraid. I was afraid of these when I was her age. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you're brave. You just roar right back at them. <laughs> you're a brave Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> Take that dinosaur. Pterodon. All of these are based on 1980s information in terms of anatomy. Right, which so is... 40 years ago. Yeah, I mean, because this has been here since I was Sophie's age. So it has been at least 30 years. So, yeah, so their understanding of dinosaurs has evolved, so to speak. Oh yeah, Sarah from the Land Before Time, a Triceratops. That's how the long necks got 
leaves off of tall trees. That's why their necks were so long. Just reached to the tippy top of a tree. So all the other animals will eat everything down below, but he could reach way up high. Fossilized Triceratops tooth. Wow. And a fossilized... Oh, this tooth? <laughs> That's a T-Rex tooth. And don't mess with a T-Rex. A human skull for comparison. Oh, Can my. you turn that, Sophie? And it makes the T Rex's jaw move. It makes, it makes his jaw go up. Yeah, the T Rex could just swallow you whole. There's a T Rex foot. Look at that. That is a big foot. It really does look like a bird foot. Oh, look who it is. Alex is too scared to see the dinosaurs. <laughs> Whereas Sophie went in there and she looks at him, she goes, Rawr! <laughs> you roar back, Sophie. Oh my <laughs> Just like that. Oh, fierce Sophie. Fierce Sophie. Sophie's that? favorite Not much the tide here. pools. Yeah. Yeah, so we have hermit crabs in my box. So you're welcome to pick them up if you'd like. Oh, those are hermit crabs. There's one right there, and one right there. Okay, touch it. Is it sticky? <laughs> Yeah, they close. They close up when you when you touch them. I think Sophie is just at about the height max for this area. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> it's a little slide. <laughs> oh. Ooh. That's a siren. Grandma got in too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Barely. Uh huh. <laughs> That's a little child-sized space in there. This is a giant old-growth cut. There's the landing of the pilgrims. Landing of the pilgrims. Declaration of Independence. Founding of Seattle. Um, first water from Cedar River. I don't even know what that means. And this tree was cut in 1962. And here we are. Alex is beside himself. He's so excited. They're all the same, basically. Are you ready? You can certainly see, observe a lot that makes our planet very unique <coughs> to others. We see different continents that we might be aware of. We see that blue water. We see some white areas, some that might be ice, some that might be clouds. I thought it was the equator at first as well. Right? Space station. Probably. Yeah. You guys are a bright group. That is the International Space Station orbit. That is going around the Earth very, very quickly. It takes about 90 minutes to complete one orbit around the Earth. It's able to go around the Earth about 15, 16 times each day. That thing is going to be very, very bright up there. Now there is a limit as to how close I can get. <laughs> like right about there. Whoa. Very bright, isn't it? Yeah. But the crazy thing is that is about the size of the sun. Everything else is just kind of light that's able to shine. All right, now let's zoom a little bit farther out so that we can see that whole solar system up there. Now, what those colored lines are are the orbits of the planets. Now, up there we have nine orbits. We have very close to the sun, the orbits of planets with a rocky surface. So that's gonna be Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Farther out, we have our gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. Even farther out, we have the ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. And those are the eight planets. 
and I said there were nine orbits. But there's a tiny dwarf planet going around too, which is Pluto. That's Pluto. How'd you know that? <laughs> and people call it a couple different things. In my opinion, whether you call it Uranus, Uranus, some people even call it Uranus, you're always going to sound a little silly. And Uranus has rings that are going up and down. Now that is because it's completely tilted sideways. Now, these bits of pieces of dust, rock, ice, are traveling around Saturn in orbit. Some range from the size of pebbles or pieces of dust. Some are thought to be about the size of half a car. And so would this be an easy thing to do, flying through these rings in a real spaceship? So even though it's that much bigger than Earth, it still isn't big enough to be a star. So that's why we call it a gas giant. Now, Jupiter does have a ring. Very, very thin. So you can kind of see it right here. Oh. Oh, oh I want to zoom in to, to see where uh, the great red spot is. Okay. Well, first, let's kind of spin it around so that we are able to see that red spot. There it is. And then we'll zoom in. Now, as we pointed out, this also has a very specific, very scientific name. Very similar to the Great Dark Spot, but it is called the Great Red Spot. That's right. <laughs> now, this has been a huge mystery for astronomers for hundreds of years. We've been able to look up and see this red spot for over 300 years. Sometimes this storm gets a little bit smaller, sometimes it gets a little bit bigger but it does average about two times bigger than Earth. So Earth up here would be about this big. Crazy to think just how big Jupiter really is. Well, I think it's, I think it's much scarier than the biggest hurricanes on Earth. I think it's also, the Great Red Spot's much bigger than the biggest hurricanes on Earth. It, it very much. <laughs> it's like two <laughs> Oh, oh, your card that you already uh, opened up? It says happy fourth birthday and that little thing. Oh, okay. Oh, it says not Joe so Average. Nephew. 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 You have an Asian. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's a mechanic one too. And that's it. <laughs> yes, I tried to cover my base like Middle Eastern and Middle Eastern. <laughs> Look, it has all of the organs of the body inside. So you have to be very careful. And Teo can't touch this. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. We will look at this one with supervision. That's very cool. That's cool, huh? Yeah. You say thank you, Grandma. You are welcome. That's a t-shirt I've had for a very long time. Oh, and look, it's sparkly. It's a carrier, so you can wear your baby. Ooh. It's a cash register. Oh, and there's there's pretend money in there, and you can do use it as a calculator too. You're fine just playing with that, aren't you? That makes fun noises. Because we're learning about money right now, huh? And so you can practice, and you guys can practice going to the grocery store, use the food at the in the kitchen. And practice paying for things carefully. And they mama, can I set you, mama? This is for your dollar. Is it you, mama? <coughs> 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 Thank you, mama. 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 Oh my goodness, you got one more doll! Yeah, what do you say to Uncle Dave? That's a pretty one too, huh? She's pretty.
pretty. And now you have a complete dolly collection. <laughs> you have a whole dolly collection now, and it is complete. Hispanic one, yeah. So now we have most ethnicities. Look at all that green. This is from Grandma. Oh, you see. It's a green tutu and a green boa. And we had a water spill, hence the no shirt. It's just a box. Oh, you think he just gave you a box for your birthday? That's it. Oh no, but there's something in it. I bet there's something in there. Oh, well we better open it. It's, it's a spaceship. It's a real space shuttle. How cool is that? What do you say to Uncle Dave? Thank you, Uncle Dave. That's a good present, huh? This is for both of you from Grandma. Oh, you got more cups. Well, that's nice. I like the green ones and the yellow ones. Yeah, that's not surprising. Grandma and Granddad to Alex and Sophie. It's to both of you. Oh, you got more placemats. Cool. <laughs> yeah, and I bet you'll like that one, Sophie. There's shapes and colors. Well, you know what? All of these are. Yeah, you know what? All of these are for everyone. We all rotate through the placemats. That one on shapes. On numbers. Yeah, that's that's the whole point. There's actually a homeschooling technique called strewing, where you just put information in their environment, and they pick it up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We're gonna do that by kind of after. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Oh, there's the letters one too. Cool. Daddy is getting into these toys too. <laughs> Little baby sized blankets and towels. That's so cute. And it's green. It's just the right size to hang on your uh, towel rack. That's in your so kitchen. cute. One more from Grandma Dorothy. Oh, do you know what that is? It's chocolate. <laughs> that turned his frown upside down. <laughs> Looks like he figured that thing out. The inner 12 year old boy is coming out. <laughs> Ooh, Tao likes that. Look at this, Tao. Alright, four, six for Alex. Ready? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Alex. Happy birthday, dear. Sophie. Alex and Epstein to you. Happy birthday to you. I guess you get to blow out all of Alex's candles. You don't want to blow your candles out? Hey, Alex. Sophie's going to blow them all out. You uh oh. Hurry. There's only three left. Hurry. Two left. Blow, 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 blow. Okay, let Alex blow that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So you Sophie, ran away. Why did you Sophie, run away? If you run away, then Sophie blows them all out. It's okay. You still get to eat a piece of the cake. Oh, you are going to again. Okay, we're going to let you blow it out now. Okay, we turn on, should we turn off the light or turn right. it on? Make Two. a wish. wants a figgy pop. That's what papa means. Oh, okay. Oh, and there is your unicorn cake oh, that you wanted, Sophie. Wow.